Hello, and welcome to Astrology Study Group. We're going to take a quick look at Bill Gates and what his current progress chart is and transits. So here is his chart. His, his uh, natal chart is in the center, this one right here in the inner ring. And a couple of things I want to look at. Um, and then um, the middle ring is his progress chart and the outer ring are the current transits that are happening now. So one thing that's very, very interesting that we're going to look at here is uh, you can see in this in this inner wheel here, we have, you know, his son is he's just early into Scorpio. He's five degrees Scorpio and he has his Mercury behind the sun in Libra. He has his Venus in front of the sun at 20 degrees Scorpio. And then he has Saturn at 21 degrees Scorpio. So this Saturn Venus conversation is not the nicest. You know, it, it seems to me that it's, it would be cruel to have uh, these two planets next to each other in this sign, um, sadistic. And in his case, it's in the fifth house, his fifth house of creations. And his progressed Mars, we're gonna look down to the next ring or next circle, and we can see that his, his progressed, well, we got two things to look at right here. His progressed Mars has gone to 23 degrees um, Scorpio. So it just passed over his Venus. And didn't his wife just um, file for divorce not too long ago? Mars and Venus, you know, the lovers and Mars went over Venus. It could be very scorching. Um, uh, and then being in Scorpio, it's very stinging and very hidden and very nasty. It's, these are not nice aspects. Even though Mars here is in its traditional, you know, in Mars and Scorpio was very compatible before they put it, you know, is the ruler of, of Pluto. So Mars is comfortable here, but it's very um, harsh, I would say. Mars and Scorpio, you've got that drive and energy of Mars. Um, it could be deep and lovery and passionate, but in his case, I don't think so. Especially when his natal sh chart shows Venus in a conjunction with Saturn. That is just not nice. All right, so moving on. His Saturn, his progressed Saturn has progressed from, um, in his birth chart, 21 Scorpio. I mean, you know, we have these things that they go round and round and he's, He's just past his Saturn return, you know, as it was at 21. So he's a little bit past that. It's now at 29 degrees Scorpio. 29 degrees is always a critical degree. Your hairs should go up on the back of your neck at that degree. Different things. It's just in an, an, a limbo place. It doesn't want to be where it's at. It wants to be the next. It's the last little bit. It's like the last day of school, the last day at your work, the, the last day at, at, your, at your house or apartment before you move, you know, you want to be on to the next thing and you just don't have work to do. So it's that type of a degree. So da -da -da -da, the drum roll, the moon nodes have just moved into the next signs. They are now in, you know, they moved backwards. So they were just in, they just finished their two and a half year trek in Sagittarius and uh, Gemini. Now they have just moved into, and they, uh, well, they just moved into Taurus and Scorpio. So the South Node has just clicked into 29 degrees Scorpio and uh, is conjuncting his Saturn. When anything is, is conjuncting the south node or the south node conjuncting anything, that is a place of, of karmic payoff, of you should let go of this, of, of getting rid of, 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 of um, you know, it's karma, where your north node is dharma, where you're going, your south node is what you have to sacrifice, let go of, release, spiritual uh, evolvement. And I don't get a, a single hair on this man's head as being any spiritual evolution or any anything moving in that direction. So if you don't if you don't volunteer 
to be spiritual, if you don't volunteer to be righteous, if you don't volunteer and on the good side, then things are radically taken away from you. So I would expect that there is going to, we're going to see some, some things with this man that are not going to be nice, but they're going to be well-deserved as this south node goes over his Saturn and then his Mars. So it will get more harsh for him. It's going to, he's going to go from the fire into the frying pan or the frying pan into the fire as we watch this uh, rake over his progressed Saturn and then his progressed Mars. And then over, it's actually, then it'll go over his natal Saturn and his natal Venus. So this south node is going to take away these things from him. And then another interesting side note, all of this is happening in his fifth house of creations. It's like he is so close, so close to putting this jab in, you know, this scorpionic stuff here, this, you know, it's the stinger. I mean, really, when you look at astrology, it is so literal. Sometimes it just makes you dizzy. So here's the stinger, <laughs> Scorpio, Saturn, these harsh, hard things, Mars, you know, the energy to do it and the drive. And then, and then Venus, this is his pleasure. So this is all coming to an end, Bill. It's all coming to an end. Just saying. All right, enough for now. We'll watch and see.